hey, this is the first time I'm doing a speed paint. I could just have the video and the song playing in the background, but I wanted to say something because I want to talk about my favorite anime. Yes, I know there are much better animes out there, but this is my personal favorite, so fight me. Sorry for the microphone quality, I have a very bad microphone. I have to have a better one soon. So, like I said, this is my first speed paint and it wasn't planned at all. I guess you can tell. I had the idea a few days ago as I was thinking of the many stickers I have that I've bought in conventions from artists that sell their stuff there, and I thought to myself, wait, I'm an artist, I can make my own stickers too, of whatever I want. But the problem is, I sometimes don't like my art, especially my digital art, because I don't have much time to draw digitally, and that sucks. So I push myself to practice by making stickers of characters I like. And it took me three hours to make one. <laughs> the only character I drew was Sayaka Kanamori from the anime Keep Your Hands Off Aizuken. It starts off with Midori Asakusa, the short one, wanted to create an anime, but she's too disheartened to make the first step by herself. By pure chance, she meets Tsubame Misusaki, the popular one, a sociable extrovert classmate secretly dreaming of becoming an animator. And together with Midori's money-loving best friend, Sayaka Kanamori, the energetic trio start the Aesoken Club and slowly work towards making their dreams a reality. And I got this summary from the Wikipedia because I am terrible at explaining plots. Yeah, it's a very simple story. The anime itself is very simple, and it's a love letter to animation. The character designs are very recognizable and distinguishable from one another. Although, in my opinion, Misusaki's design could have been more distinguishable. Maybe an accessory like Asakusa's camouflage sun hat or Kanamari's glasses that she keeps on her head most of the time. I'm not saying her design is bad, but like I said, it could have been more distinguishable. She's still a good character, but I think is not as good as the other two. Even though she's the most popular girl in the anime, I think she's the least favorite girl from the main characters. I'm not saying you hate if you like her or you think she's the best girl, I'm just saying facts. And I think that's a fact. And now that I'm mentioning best girl, Kanamori, tall girl, is best girl. I think she has the best personality and the best character design out of the trio. And her teeth, her teeth are so amazing. Okay, maybe I'm, I'm exaggerating, but I really, I really like her teeth. I like that she doesn't just love money, like Mr. Crab does. He only keeps it and does nothing with it. While if you get to know Kanamari's backstory, you know that she likes how money makes people make business and indirectly help each other. I don't know how to explain it, but she has a very good explanation. I still love the memes of her loving money though. I also relate to Asakusa because she's an introvert and when she has to talk to people who she's gonna have to work with, she gets nervous because she doesn't like telling people what to do without meaning to sound harsh. She's also afraid of the dark, like me. Okay, back to the anime. It's very nice seeing how these girls are very passionate about what they're doing. I think they really represent the younger artists, like me, the dream of making a cartoon or an animated movie someday. Most of them already start creating original characters, stories, and worlds at such a young age and overall is amazing and inspiring how a lot of artists, especially animators, can relate to this anime. Oof, that was emotional. Anyway, now I'm talking about my thoughts on how the drawing slash sticker turned out. Like I said, I'm not very good at digital art. It was especially hard to do the line art because I'm not used to make the line art on digital. Most of the time, I just sketch and leave it like that. I shouldn't do that so often. Overall, I think it came out okay. Nothing amazing, but it's an okay sticker. I would definitely put it in my sketchbook. And that's what I'm gonna do eventually. That's it for now. If you have drawing suggestions for speed paints or topics that I could talk about during the next one, you can leave them in the comments down below. Thanks for watching and listening. Bye bye.